Hello and welcome to Fire Emblem of the Four Kings. This is Chapter 7, A Test of Trust. The group passed through the Behanzen Mountains, thwarting some bandits along the way. They drew closer to the Western Plains, where the capital was located. Man, these mountains just seem to blend together. It feels like we're going nowhere. We'll arrive at the capital soon, just be patient. We'll actually be out of these mountains in a day or so. From there, it'll be an easy trip straight to the capital. What will we have to deal with once we exit the mountains? Nothing. The western edge of Bahanzin is pretty peaceful, and beautiful too. I only went there once, but the rolling plains and meadows are gorgeous. Sounds nice. Funny how the most beautiful place in the country is behind mountains. Deserts, jungles, and bandits. That just makes it all the more satisfying when you get there. It wouldn't seem half as nice if you didn't have to work for it. Heh, <laughs> good point. Hey, I've got some news. There's a collapsed traveler up ahead. What? We gotta help them. Erg. It doesn't look so good. Zoe, can you heal him? Of course. Hold still. You'll feel all better in a second. Mm. Ah, I feel much better now. Thank you for that. But why help me? We don't know each other at all. Hey, no need to thank us. It's common decency to help someone who's hurt. Wait a moment. You, you're Prince Walter. Oh great, another one of the mercenaries. Yes, I was there as well. I refused to work for someone so childish. But now I'm to be saved by you? How shameful. Hey, Walter's not so bad. He had a little outburst before, but he's more than made up for that by now. He even convinced some of the mercenaries to rejoin him, myself included. And why on earth should I believe that? Well, he was the one who wanted to help you in the first place, so the least you could do is thank him for that. Alright, fine. Thank you, Walter. Or like, thank you, Zoe. So now that you're feeling better, want to join us? Ha! Huh. What a preposterous idea. I'm not so easily swayed by one little act of kindness. Oof. Well, could you at least tell us how you were injured? Oh, that? Just a rock slide is all? They're quite common in this area. One boulder struck me right off my horse. What are you doing all the way out here, anyway? I was returning to my home on the Western Plains. I regularly pass through these mountains, so I shouldn't have been hurt. Don't worry about it, these things happen to the best of us. My name's Ava, by the way. What's yours? I'm Cielo. Are you sure you don't want to come with us, Cielo? We're both headed for the plains. At the very least, we can travel together until you reach your home. Then you can decide if you want to join us or not. Well, when you put it that way... Okay, I'll agree to those terms. But only because you ask nicely, unlike a certain prince. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot. My, you're quite the good negotiator, Ava. Much better than Walter, that's for sure. What do you mean? I just talked to him normally. He was way more willing to listen to you than to me, though. Why? I'm just good with people. Maybe I could give you some tips later. I'd be up for that. By the way, this traveler wasn't the only thing I found while scouting. There's a village up ahead that seems to be under attack. What? We have to get moving, then. This doesn't look good, Ron. We ain't gonna last much longer like this. Don't worry, Victor. Things may look dire, but I know we can do this. Yeah, because two people fighting off a horde of bandits alone is totally doable. Now you're getting it. Uh, we're gonna need a miracle. I hope we aren't too late. We must protect this village as best we can. Hmm, I think I can see two people trying to fight off the attackers, too. They won't last long. And we'll just have to help them out, fast. Now let's clean house. So, I did my preps as best as I could under the circumstances. They're... I don't know if these are my best units ever, but they're going to be the best ones for this chapter, I believe. I looked through the enemies and I found that this bandit is carrying a goddess icon, but I, I won't hesitate to kill him if he gets near a village, because the goddess icon is not as useful as any other stat booster, even with the crit chances in this hack. I do want to kill... I want to prioritize killing bandits, because if I let them get too far away too quickly, they will burn down villages, and I don't want that to happen. So yeah. Uh, my formation's all set already, so I'm just going to jump right in. A battle so soon? Ah, well, this way I can see the prince in action. Alright, Prince Walter, prove to me why I should trust you. Oops. 
So we have CLO, he's a Nomad, level 7. He's got Sky Shot. Locked to 4 range. It's, it's just a 4 range Steel Bow, I think. Might, I think Steel Bow is 7, might, maybe. Probably not. Iron Bow is 6, so Steel Bow probably is 9. Anyway. He's also got a Short Bow, which is a Brave Bow, based with, a, with Short Bow damage. Anywho. He's got C rank and bows, and 8 strength, 4 magic, 7 skill, 12 speed, 7 luck, 6 defense, 5 resistance, and 7 move. His growths are 40% strength, 30 magic, 35 skill, 45 speed, 35 luck, 25 defense, 20 resistance, and 70 HP. Uh. Okay, so these. So. Since Walter can talk to those guys, I'm going to pri probably prioritize moving him up closer to deal with that. Uh, for now, though, let's get rid of these mercenaries. Uh, maybe Ava can do it. Well, she can help. 9... 15... Or I can just... poke him with a saber. Oh, you're dead. HP, magic, skill, speed, and resistance. Nice. Okay, now Bradley and Sean, what can you do? Twelve... Twenty with the quick blade, ten with an iron sword. I don't know, let's see if we can hit with Bradley first. Okay, then I'll just finish him off with Sean. This is a route map, so we will be here a while. Okay, so I want to target that bandit, but... Not sure what the best thing to do there is. Maybe... Well, I'll we'll run away immediately afterward unless I put someone... But I could also use CLO to get rid of this guy if I hit twice. Hmm... Well, definitely moving Walter here. I guess Cielo should go for this. Okay. Not the intent, the outcome I wanted, but that's the outcome I got. Uh, Tomahawk is 29 attack. I have 5 defense, so... I guess we'll just chip you down a bit, and then we'll put on animations for CLO. Definitely move Max forward. Can't have Marcy in range of that ballista, because reasons. And we definitely cannot do that, so... I'll just put Marcy here for now. Go here. Play for Shelby. I'm gonna go here and stick the Munio on, and that will attract the bandit to come closer. And I think I'll keep Zoe on hand for any healing purposes. Alternatively, I could sleep that bandit and just be done with it, but... Uh, for now, I'll just not do that. Apparently, the, the enemy likes breaking down walls. That's good to know.
So, I should probably say, um, I do like this hack so far. Like, I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't like it. It def definitely has flaws, and I will be commenting thoroughly on those flaws, but I do want to say one thing I like about this hack. It provides a unique experience. Um, I do like the uh, per uh, personal weapons for everybody. It's a nice touch. So, yeah. And I just like the fact that it's completed, honestly. A lot of ROM hacks uh, never reach the completion stage, and that can be kind of unfortunate. So, yeah. Let's have Walter talk to Victor. Hey, you guys okay? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I asked for a miracle and this is what we get, really? Prince Walter, here of all places? Ah, <sighs> let me guess. Mercenaries, I yelled, you left. Is that about right? Yeah, and if you don't mind, we're kind of busy right now. So while I'd love to bash your head in, it's going to have to wait. Hey, I'm here to help you guys. We heard this town was in danger, so we're going to protect it. You expect me to believe that? No, but I know exactly how to prove I'm telling the truth. Just watch me. I'll take down these guys, no problem. I assure you, we don't need the help. I'm more than capable of... Ron, shut up. All right, Walter, if you're really going to defend this town with us, then go right ahead. We'll see how sincere you are. Trust me, I mean what I say. I'll make sure your town is safe. And we got Walter and Ron. Or Victor and Ron, rather. Uh, let's see. Victor is a level 6 fighter. He's got 9 strength, 0 magic, 12 skill, 14 speed, 8 luck, 5 defense, 5 resistance, 5 move. He's got 35% strength growth, 0 magic, 55 skill, 55 speed, 40 luck, 15 defense, 15 resistance, 100 HP. I'm not even sure what to think of this guy. Um, interesting build, I guess. He's got a Vuge from Thracia, and he's got a Steel Axe. Vuge, 9 Might, 1 2 Range, and uh, 30 Crit. We have Ron, level 9 Soldier, with 13 Strength, 0 Magic, 7 Skill, 13 Speed, 3 Luck, 9 Defense, 2 Resistance, and 5 Move. Growths are 50% Strength, 0% Magic, 30 Skill, 50 Speed, 15 Luck, 30 Defense, 10 Resistance, 80 HP. And we got the Justice Pike. Uh, Pierce's Defense. It's got 10 Might, 65 Hit, 10 Crit. He's also got a Javelin and an Axe Reaver. Uh, let's see how you do, Ron. Wow, you almost die. Neat. I think I'd rather have... Uh... Well, we do kind of want to take care of this guy too, but... Gonna wait here for now. See if we can't delete this dude now. Twelve only. We can just go for this. And heal up Shelby. HP, luck, and resistance. Okay. Um. I'd rather just try again with a sky shot, honestly. There we go. Well, okay. Um. Can't cross these cliffs, I assume. So we'll just have to go forth in this general direction. Oh, let's just go here. HP, defense, resistance. 
Yeah, that makes sense. And then... Yeah, we gotta still figure out what to do with this guy. I guess we could... Go here and try this guy shot. Okay, not bad. Then... Turn on animations for Victor and Ron, and then put them to work. Um, I think I'd rather just have Victor throw something from two range because. Ron is kind of paper, papery. Well, Victor is kind of papery too, frankly, but... See you later. I'm sure these guys don't start with supports. Almost none of the mercenary groups start with supports with each other, which is kind of odd. You'd think they would have some things to start with, but that's okay. They usually build supports up pretty quickly. Honestly, of the roster that I have, I think my weakest units are uh, Sean and Bradley, because so far they've been kind of disappointing. The only reason why I deploy them is because they're Cavaliers, and having high movement units is useful, but I, I would like something a little more useful, please. Fair enough. This guy is the guy with the goddess icon, right? Yeah, if I put him to sleep... Uh, is that even possible? Not unless I dance, I think. go here. Hmm. Do you have a short bow? Yes, you do. Your speed is 9, yours is 12. But hand axes don't weigh you down, right? No, they don't. So I'm going to stick you in the forest here, Walter. You're going to not die. I play for Lydia. Um, sleep is MP over 2, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I can't get her close enough this turn. I can get her next turn, I guess. Or I can just stick someone in front. Well, not really. I can just lose the goddess icon, honestly. It's not a big deal. Your tomahawk damage is 29. You're 5, that's 24 damage, 8 speed, 14 speed. Okay, I guess. Um,
HP, strength, magic, skill, speed, and resistance. Cool. I'm gonna stick Marcy here. The ward lance equipped. And then the bandit might go for her. Yeah, if Victor doesn't kill the bandit, then we'll just steal for with it, steal the goddess icon with Ava, but if she does kill him, it doesn't really make a difference to me. Um We'll keep Max on hand just in case. And then CL can just wait here. I'll have Sean and Bradley go towards those southern villages. With Lionel. Not bad. This is fine. get some levels for Walter here. Let's see what happens. HP, strength, luck, defense. That's fine. I would have liked speed as well, but beggars can't be choosers. Alright. Um... Let's see. Definitely should move Shelby in. I guess we could steal the goddess icon with Ava, then kill the bandit. This works if it hits. It does. So if we steal this with Ava first. And do this with Sean. Well, I would like Sean to be on hand for the mages, though. But Sean can't really reach right now, either. Let's go for this, then. And next we can do this. Nice. we do about this situation, because they're going to break down this wall pretty soon, and then the bandit is going to go in and do stuff. So I would like to attract that bandit to me, but I'm not sure I can anymore. Sixteen. 
Well, it might take one more turn for that wall to break down. Well, let's stick Ron, uh, Sean, rather, here. Let's go for this. Now this is more certain. Sony in and then drop Lionel there. We should be okay, more or less. Guess she'll be moving this way. Some minor healing done here, just in case. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine too, I guess. All's well that ends well. Okay then. Oh, not an ideal use of his personal weapon, but that's an option. What can Bradley do with Sonian from here, though? Well, if I do that, and then I can kill with uh, Lionel. But first, let's deal with this dude. Ah, uh, here's fine. HP and speed. Yep. Sounds about right. Let's go get this village with Max. Move you shortly. For now, though, we'll uh, take care of some problems. Um, see what Sean can do here. Oh, Sean, you're worthless. Strength, resistance, okay. This mage will go for Lionel, but that's okay. The 
This wall will also break down next turn, but we don't have to worry about that immediately. What we do have to worry about is uh, dealing with this guy. This is fine. Um, yeah, we can just heal Ron here. And also... Men's CLO, or heal, just, yes, just heal, so you can see fine. What are we dealing with over here, anyway? Right, Flux Guy. Twenty-two attacks, six speed, versus... 12 speed, 5 resistance. Not quite close enough to do the sky shot, so we'll have to just stand here with a short bow. Not entirely sure why these armories are here, because we spent all our money, but maybe the villages have gems or loot we can sell. Victor, my good man, how do you fare? I'm doing all right. These enemies aren't so tough. Indeed. Why, I fought with much worse when I was in the Behenzen army. Don't give me that crap again, Ron. I already know you're a fraud. Well, you don't have to be so blunt about it. Maybe just once you could humor me. Not likely, but don't worry. I won't tell anybody. Phew. Yeah, thanks, Victor. Okay. I saw Marcy and Walter to move. I suppose I'll just go... Well, do we have any mages we need to deal with besides these guys? I could just have Marcy on hand to pick up Max. Might be better. You know what? I'll do that. And Walter can go this way. Fine. HP, Strength, Speed, and Defense. Not bad for a first level up. Okay, so I should sort this out first. You know, those people raiding our town weren't always bandits. They used to be regular villagers, villagers like us. But our little town is at the base of the mountains, real close to the western plains, so it's easy for us to get supplies from there. But for people who live up in the mountains, life's not so easy. Folks that aren't strong enough to survive up there resort to banditry. Coming down here to raid us more fortunate people. As thanks for saving us, take this gemstone. I was gonna give it to a friend who lives in the mountains, but now I'd rather give it to you. Got a blue gem. I'll send it to supply. And pull Max out. Go over here. Play for Marcy. And we'll deal with the rest of her actions later, but for now. Definitely want to get rid of this mage and then clog this up, but I don't know the safest way to do that is yet. Might just be Saber. Plus, well, hmm, that's not good.
Let's heal people who we need help from. Hmm. We do this, and we get hit, and we die, that would be bad. We could do this, but this... Well... Here's an idea. Strength, speed, and resistance. Okay, I just got to saber this guy. Okay, we got this. We're just having Lionel still, Lionel still exposed to the mage, but that's okay. If we attack from here, we can kill that mage too, but we need to heal that guy up first, so let's do that. Just HP for Lydia. And her heal staff broke, but that's okay. Two, three, four. Problem solved. Um. I think I'm gonna go here with Shelby and trade up that short bow. Right there. Let's go in here, go into the supply, give in that vulnerary, grab the blue gem, go into the armory, sell the blue gem. Uh, I could buy a new light brand, that would be nice. And buy like a proper bow for Cielo, maybe. Light brand. Uh, iron bow, steel bow. Oh boy, things are gonna get kind of rough. Okay, so... This square doesn't technically count as the village, but... The sooner we take care of that bandit, the better. So, um, yeah, how about Ron? No, why would Ron be able to do anything? How about Sean? Well, if Sean hits both of these, he'll kill this guy, so that's fine.
Hmm. Stand here with the glaive, I guess. Oh boy, this is not gonna be good. Um... Hmm... You know what? Let's make this a little bit easier on us. going to be a little bit difficult, but I think I'm going to put the Horse Slayer on Bradley and just stand here with the Lance Reaver and be ready for the cavalry to charge, except... Yeah, it's fine. Let's take you here and heal up Lionel. Shelby can go over here. Start working on this guy. I think that's the best we can do right now. That was painful. Just HP for Victor. The one thing he can never not get. Neat. Now that bandit is going to be a problem. Not this one, the other one to the northeast. Well, Shelby starting to uh, falter a bit. I'm gonna stick Shelby right on the village. Well. Also Nosferatu it up, but no, that's dangerous. Let's hold on. Let's deal with this mess first. Twenty-eight damage. Why are we dealing with enemies that can deal twenty-eight damage? <laughs> Jesus.
Bandit should go for Walter if he follows normal Bandit rules, as long as we get other people out of his range. So let's work on doing that next. Send Marcy to the store. <laughs> and kill this tomahawk bandit with CL, that would be ideal. Good. That's a relief. HP, strength, and speed. Nice. Go here, I'll equip Munio before I forget and visit this village. Ack, please don't kill me. I I'm just an old woman. You can take whatever you want, but please spare me. Eh? What's that? You're trying to protect our town? Well, I'll be. In that case, why don't I give you a little something to help you out? Unfortunately, I don't think any of my possessions will be of use to you. You can take one of my walking sticks, I suppose. This one's pretty fancy. Maybe it'll sell for a good price. Got a physic. That's good. I will say about this hack, it does give you the tools that you need to handle the problems, even if you don't have uh, as many tools as you would like all at once. Uh, speaking of tools, let's deal with this guy. Well, this is an easy way to deal with this. I guess we may as well go for it. if we shoot this guy with a mystic bow. Then finish him off with Lionel. Just use the iron sword. We can try with Bradley too, I guess. Yeah, let's try with Bradley first. Okay. I'm gonna kill the sleeping dude now. Sorry, sleeping dude, you're just in the way. Magic, skill, and speed. Fair enough. If you were to take a tomahawk to the face, what would happen? 29. Minus 5 is 24, with 14 speed. But you have the Vouge, so you probably won't get thrown, thrown a hand axe at your face. Still, though, we should definitely get you ready for taking damage. Same for you, Bradley. Um, I'm fine with this. If they're in wrong, just stand together. Okay, 
Okay. We should do some shopping. Unlock staff would might be nice since it's here. And mm. Mm. I think I'll pass on the other stuff for now. As long as no more enemies come, we can probably finish this in two turns. Let's see here. We need to deal with a few things here first. Uh, this dude just has flux, right? Yeah, okay. This is a perfect kill, so then we get it. Well, there's no way to mess, so... Not getting hit is good, though. HP, skill, luck, and defense. Okay, that guy isn't gonna be a problem for now. We can... Probably just kill this guy with Ava. Um, let's try to Sonian first, that we can save Mystic Bow uses. There we go. HP, skill, speed, and resistance. Fair enough. Uh, someone with relatively high res maybe could do that. Um, a Lionel has pretty high res. Let's... Stick Lionel here. Wait. Bring Walter up. Trade the light brand over. On supply, and we'll just put this one used light brand away for now. And wait. Now that sh shaman will attack Lionel. Just get our healers some healing uh, experience. Strength and speed. Kind of curious why the Troubadour is getting strength. Maybe the promoted version. Uh, promoted Vol Valkyrie can use swords, like in Talius. I guess we'll find out. I don't want to aggro that mage yet so that I can visit the village. Well, I could aggro him from a distance, I guess, suppose. Eight resistance with nine speed. Ten speed, twenty-two attack. This is fine. Trading on the second attack 
while cool isn't very useful. That's okay. We're basically done with this, so we'll just have Lionel visit the last village. You're helping Ron protect our town, yes? Then deliver this knight crest to him. He says he earned it during a service in the Bahansan army. Apparently, these things can make knights a lot stronger. I don't really know how to use it, though. Hopefully Ron can use it somehow. Yeah, Ron can use it. Well... Yeah, he's almost there. Maybe if I promote him to 10. It's not at an awful, awful position to promote, since his growth rates are so bad. But do I really want to promote someone... Um... I mean, his strength is relatively high compared to our group. Same with speed, but his growths are high there too. So do I want, do I want to wait, him, wait for them to be higher, or what? I don't know. Ah, uh, this is so risky. Okay, that worked. What did I tell you? No problem. I must say, that was a spectacular show you gave us, Prince Walter. You actually saved our town. Guess you were telling the truth after all. Sorry for doubting you. We probably sounded pretty mean earlier. Hey, I don't blame you. I'd be mad at me too if I was you. You must have been mercenaries from before, yes? What are your names? Oh yeah, names. I'm Victor, your go-to axe man. If you need something chopped in half, just give me a shout. Hate to break it to you, but I'm the axe fighter of this group. Hope you don't mind a little competition. Hey, you wanna go? I'll test you right now. Bring it on, dude. Hey, wait. <sighs> I'll go make sure they don't hurt themselves. Brash, isn't he? I think those two will get along just fine. Certainly. My name is Ron, by the way. I used to be a soldier in the Bahansan army, but I've since retired from service. Well, we know that's a lie from his support, but that's cool. Victor and I take up mercenary work to provide for our village. And while I may be technically retired, I'm still the finest soldier you'll ever see. Going all the way to ask you for work certainly seems extreme. It was necessary. Life in Bahansan is tough, and your brother paid us handsomely. Around here, there isn't much work, and the government hardly helps us at all. So we have to provide for ourselves one way or another. I see. Truly a country where only the strong can survive. That's Bahansan for you. Anyway, I'm going to go watch Victor's duel. Ah, Prince Lionel. Oh, hello, Cielo. Do you, do you need something? Yes. After witnessing how you and Walter performed today, I've decided to remain in your group. You've certainly earned my trust. That's wonderful to hear. Thank you, Cielo. I do... I, I have knocked the writing a few times before, so I'm going to go out of my way to say that um, one good thing about this chapter's writing in particular, it's called The Test of Trust. And there were actually two trust tests here, right? Cielo wasn't trustworthy of Lionel or, or Walter. Well, specifically Walter, but he got talked down into letting uh, letting the group take the time to let Cielo build trust with the group and see how they're doing and what, or see what they're doing. And the second t trust test was with Walt with a. Uh, Ron and um, Victor. When Walter talked to Victor, the two when the two were talking, they said that they could handle the village defense well enough, and that they didn't need Walter's help. But eventually, uh, agreed to see what Walter does and his what his group does. So I think that's a good way to tie in the theme of trust and reluctance, well, specifically reluctance over trusting somebody. Anyway, that's wonderful to hear. Thank you, Cielo. Now if you'll excuse me, I want to catch the rest of that fight. Three new allies today. Maybe we are improving. Ah, you. You defended our humble village with Victor and Ron today. I can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. Please, accept this body ring as a gift. It's quite alright, we just did the right thing. You needn't reward us. Please, I insist, we must repay you somehow for what you've done. Very well, we'll accept your gift. Thank you, brave heroes. Take care. That must be the reward for getting all the villages, I assume. I'm gonna send that to the convoy for now. 
Anyway, that was chapter 7, a test of trust. Uh, not as bad of a chapter as the last one, for sure. This was, I, I would say this map was a little bit more well-designed than the last one. Uh, just because it was while it was a route map, the enemies did move to, towards us eventually, so that's good. Um, he, the designer decided to focus on the attack as something to do rather than having like gimmicky side objectives like in chapter four and chapter six and i think that's really great so good job thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed watching this episode as much as i enjoyed playing it have a good one